My name is Reverend Eze Emmanuel from Lagos, Nigeria. I want to make a video statement with this Holy Bible in my hand, which you can see. Holy Bible. Dear sir, I was contacted by GPS Track Shipping Company with tracking number on the 10th on the 10th to 11 November 2017 stating my parcel has left Romania to my destination Lagos Nigeria that I should be using this tracking number to track my parcel and I did as instructed by the GPS as I was tracking my parcel time to time to know the location of my parcel I got an I got a message from Clyde Postmania, manager of GPS track, informing me on the 19th of December that they are approaching to my destination and they need my identity. But I went to church that very Sunday and came back and came late and slept off the next morning, which is Monday. I sent identity in the morning and got reply immediately that my parcel track my parcel tracking number TFQ six four MUQ four U zero X eight Y two V has moved to Nije facility warehouse. I was told that Nije regional manager Connie will contact me regarding my parcel after an hour. Mr. Conner got in con got in touch with me, but I was not happy because Nije was not the destination for delivery. Mr. Clyde Postmania told me there was no facility warehouse in Lagos, so they have moved the parcel to Nije. I refused to go to Nije and pick up the parcel. After several debates, I was asked to write official letter requesting my parcel to move down to Bene. Continuation. And I did wrote the official letter and notarized it requesting my parcel to move to Bene. After the official letter requested the GPS track shipping company approved to move the parcel from Nije to Bene facility warehouse. Mr. Connie told me that his old friend Akwadi Osazi will contact me on on how I can get my parcel. That was how Akwadi Osazi, manager of Bene facility warehouse, opened communication with me. Akwadi manager was nice to me and was and we were having good conversations because he thought I'm a Muslim brother and I agreed with him to come to the facility warehouse and pick up my parcel. Akwadi Osaze was very upset when Connie told him I was a Christian and since then he starts acting strange and I told Connie, what is going on? He spoke with Akwadi Osaze once again. After that, he said, since Connie has spoken, no problem, he will help me. After the manager, after, sorry, after the arrangement, I went to, I went to Duane Skotonu Airport on the Thursday, December, December 7, 2017, but I was told is the second airport in Baraku in Northern Bene area, and they told us from Duanis Kotonu Airport to Baraku is about seven to eight hours journey. A party said we should sleep in, in Makumba Hotel and pass a night. 
and in the morning the driver will bring us to Baraku. But it was late night, late evening, and I cannot afford the expenses with those that accompanied me to Bene. We left Duanis Kotonu Airport around 7.30 p.m. We have to reschedule the journey to meet again in front of Duani Kotonu Airport, and we agreed to meet in front of the airport. Akwadi said he will send Baba, the driver, to meet me in front of the to meet me in front of the Duanis Kotonu Airport from Barako, and we concluded on Friday, on Friday, November 15, 2017. I got an emergency message from Akwadi Saze in the morning after preparation that the driver that supposed to bring the parcel took his son to his to took his son that has serious typhoid last night to hospital but he will send his nephew Juju Juju to bring the parcel to meet me in front of the airport Continuation. And I went back for the second time, as we have concluded, to meet in front of the Duali Kotonu Airport. When I arrived in front of the Duali Kotonu Airport, I notified him and he told me that his nephew Juju is on, his, is on the way to meet me. After two hours, Akwadi said he had an accident with goat. After an hour again, we had another report that radiator got spoiled due to accident Juju had with goats. And he's already night. So Akwadi advised that I should find a hotel to pass a night till tomorrow and I did pass a night in one hotel called Hotel de Camelio in Sakanji area. The next morning was December 16, 2017. Juju told me that he is waiting for the mechanic to come and fix the new radiator before coming. Continuation. And I kept waiting at the hotel to hear from him after fixing the new radiator. The next report from Akwadi Asaze was that Juju has drunk and he cannot drive the company car. Akwadi Asaze insisted that I remain in that same hotel till tomorrow, that there is nothing he can do. I have to pass another night in the same hotel, making it two days in Benin. The next morning was December 17, 2017. Juju was the first person to talk to me that he is very sorry for what has happened, that he is on the way to Duanis Kotonu Airport, and I went to wait for him in front of the Duanis Kotonu Airport. I was in front of Duanis Kotonu Airport waiting for Juju for more than four hours standing. I told Akwadi or what is going what is going on, what is happening, that I have not seen Juju yet. After some time I got message from Juju that he wanted to open the parcel to know what is inside. I forwarded the message to Akwadi Osaze and he got upset. After that, Juju said I have opened the parcel and I saw the content. And he said I have the content and he is not coming to Duani Kotonu Airport again. Meanwhile, Akwadi has informed the police and Juju have to change the meeting 
place to stadium. I took by to stadium when I got there. He saw me, but I cannot recognize him because I don't have his identity. But he had he had my he was fooling me around the stadium, saying, Come to the back, and I went. He said he said Come to the back, pulling me around. I went. He said, come to other side, and I went, but I cannot see him, though I can't recognize him. He now said, since you are not coming to back side of the stadium, I am leaving Tolome with your parcel and money. Bye. I sent messages to Aquarius as a but he couldn't respond immediately, though he was upset with what his nephew did. And he's getting late in the evening, around to four around to seven PM. I now took straight by 